Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about image mapping. I've got a solid in my graphic area. Its dimensions are 2 inches by 4 inches by 1 inch. Now here I've created an image. It's 1 inch by 1 inch. Let's take a look at its properties. Under document size, you can see here it's 1 inch by 1 inch with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch or 72 dpi. Let's click cancel. When you're mapping an image, it's a good idea to create an image that's proportionate to the face of your model, to where you'll place it. It makes it easier to place correctly. In some cases, depending on your graphic program, you might still have some trouble placing the image correctly. An option would be to output as a different file format and try again, or you can use a different graphics program altogether. I happen to be using Adobe Photoshop. That's the software that I'm more comfortable with, and it does happen to be pretty sophisticated and flexible. All right, let's get back to Inventor. And let's open the Appearance Library. First, I'm going to create a new generic appearance. Let's give it a memorable and appropriate name. Let's say 1 by 1 inch. That way I can easily identify it later on. Now let's place it. Double click on the image field, select my image, and click open. By the way, down here you can see the list of supported image types. Inventor will support a lot of different types of images. OK, let's click open. Now double click the image field. We can adjust the brightness with this slider. We can invert the image rotate it, and so on. For size, let's enter one by one. By the way, if you're using some other measurement than imperial units, you can click this drop-down menu and set display units, change to inches. Let's close the appearance editor. And now select our face, and here we can see the preview. The preview shows us that the pattern fits nicely. Let's right click and select Assign to Selection. And let's double click on the appearance again. Now I'll remove the image. Let's use white. Now we'll apply that image as a bump map. So let's check the bump box and select our image. Select the image and click open. For the bump map, you can use grayscale or black and white. Basically, the black area will be an indentation and the white will be an emboss, or vice versa, depending upon in which direction you adjust the slider. Let's double click, adjust the size to 1 by 1 inch. And let's close. Here's our preview. Let's click OK and close. And this concludes our tutorial about image mapping.